Hi, this is Carmen from Annie Design Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make these very easy and very fun to make crochet Christmas decorations. They're my one of my most popular patrons on Ravelry and on my blog for making these crochet baubles. They're not difficult, they're actually very easy to make. Um, sometimes a beginner might find them a little bit daunting at first, but I hope by today that you'll be making loads of them yourself. Um, you can make them in your, all your favourite colours um, and you can have great fun creating lovely combinations. I mean, you can use a red and a cream to make very traditional Christmas baubles or you can bring in some brighter, cheerful, colourful um, colours, you know, whatever you have really in your stash or you can purchase um, some cotton yarn, particularly these little tiny balls, they're gorgeous. And you can have loads of colours in your stash then and make your baubles as colourful as possible. They make lovely de decorations, as I said, for your tree. Um, they also make beautiful presents. Um, you could put maybe four of them in a little box with some tissue paper and would make a lovely Christmas gift to give to somebody that they can share with their family every year. So before we go any further, we'll just talk about the yarn. Uh, the yarn I like to use is a four ply that would be a fingering weight, maybe near sports weight cotton. And the one I have here is from a company called Yarn and Colours. Uh, it's a beautiful cotton in lovely rich uh, colours. Comes in every colour you could imagine. Um, Sheep Jays also do a beautiful four ply cotton. Um, but you could use a double knit yarn, a light double knit yarn and just a slightly larger hook. Cotton works best. It gives a nice, I think, lovely texture on it, but acrylic will work fine as well. So use whatever you have around the house and um, I'll show you how to make them. They're made in two halves and then I'll show you how they fit together beautifully. As I said, you will make your baubles in two halves. And what you will use then for the inside are some plastic Christmas baubles that you probably have lying around from last year or they sell them quite cheaply in the shops in packs of maybe 12 or 24. They're kind of a standard size, roughly around three inches around diameter, but you needn't worry too much about the size. You can make your bobble to fit any size of these that you find. Um, here's some I have from last year for my tree. And you could also use these. They're polystyrene baubles that they sell in local craft shops. And they're very handy and convenient as well if you didn't want to use um, these ones. And what you will do then is you make, first of all, one half of your bauble. It's kind of like a little dome shape. Then the other half. And you make them slightly smaller. You fit as you go than the actual um, plastic bauble that you're covering. And then you kind of pull them together and then you sew them around the side. And they fit like a glove. I have chosen my yarn that I will use to make um, this bauble and you will also need a three millimeter crochet hook. You could use a smaller than three millimeter if that suits your tension best, but that's kind of a standard size to start off with for wool of this yarn weight. If you were using a DK weight yarn, you may need to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors and a yarn needle for sewing up your baubles. So we will start off now with round one. And the first thing I will do is make the magic ring. And out of that magic ring, I will chain three. That first chain three counts as your first double crochet. And into the magic ring, I will make 11 more double crochet. So yarn around hook into your ring, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through last two loops. So I now have two double crochet. Your beginning chain three counts as your first. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you may wish to count those to make sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And pull your ring tight. And you can weave that in later. And you will now go back to your beginning chain three and you will join your circle. So just join in there at the top of your beginning chain three and slip stitch to close. So we will cut a thread there and tighten that off. And that's round one. Now round two. This is round one. And this will be our second round. So you will, using the next colour, you will join in any stitch from round one. I generally join in a stitch opposite where I have um, uh, cast off there. So hook into any stitch, join your yarn and chain three, which counts as your first double crochet. And back into the same stitch, we will do another double crochet and we will do two double crochet into each stitch around. So there's two double crochet in our first stitch, two double crochet in our second stitch. And we will do that in each stitch around, just keeping count of your stitches as you go. You will end up with 24 double crochet in total. When you come to after your join with your loose thread, I put it under my stitches and I will crochet over it as I go which means I have less threads to weave in and they will be hidden inside your bauble anyway. So I'm just grabbing that and crocheting over it. So that's two double crochet in each of your 12 stitches around your circle from round one. Now we'll just check that we have the correct amount. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, and our last two, which will make it twenty-four double crochet, will go into our final stitch. And we will slip stitch to the top of our beginning chain three to join that round. And fasten off your yarn. That's round two. For round three, I'll take my next colour. And we will join in any space between two double crochet from your previous round. So you can see there your sets of two double crochet in each stitch. And just go into the space there between any two sets of double crochet and join your yarn. You will chain three again counts as your first double crochet. One more double crochet back into the same space. Chain one, skip the next two double crochet and in the next space we will make two more double crochet. Chain one, skip two double crochet and in the next space put your hook right there between the stitches. We will make two more double crochet. And chain one and we will do that the whole way around for round three. 
do double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet. Remember your chain one between every set of two double crochet. I hope you're able to follow along with this. You can stop and start it at any stage while you finish your own round and you'll get very fast at making these after you've made one. <laughs> you'll become addicted and you will constantly be making them. They're very addictive to make and um, they look beautiful in the end. So when you come to the end, you have your last chain one. And again, as before, you will join into the top of your beginning chain three to fasten off. Cut your yarn and pull through. So that's round three. Round four. Um, round four will have some spike stitches. I will show you how to make them now. And it's nice to use a contrast colour so that your spike stitches will show up well. Um, I'm going to use a yellow, which I think will show up against that um, corally pink colour I used in round three. So what we will do is we will join in. If you look at your first, your two double crochets and then your chain one, but join in one of the first double crochets, any of them on your round and from round three and just insert your hook in there and join in your contrast color. So chain one, one single crochet and one single crochet in your next double crochet. And now we will do a spike stitch. A spike stitch is a long single crochet stitch. So insert your hook down into round two and where you have two double crochets and insert your hook right in the middle of those two double crochets. Hook your yarn, pull it up nice and loosely up to the height of your single crochet and complete your single crochet that way. I'll show you again how to do that. So in the next double crochet, do a single crochet single crochet in your next double crochet and now do a spike stitch by reaching down and going in, in the middle of the two double crochets on the previous row bring up your yarn to a good height yarn over and pull it through two loops single crochet in your next stitch and in your next stitch and again, a spike stitch by reaching down between the double crochets from round two, pulling up a loose loop, yarn over and pull it through two loops. So we will repeat that the whole way around. Single crochet, single crochet and spike stitch. It gives just a nice little effect. And you can have fun playing around with colours as well. Single crochet, single crochet, spike stitch. You will have 36 stitches in total for this round. And remember, if you want to see the written pattern, you can find it on my blog, anydesigncrochet.com.
Now this makes what you can see is a large flat circle, but because we won't be increasing any more in the next few rounds, it will curve slightly in. And we finish off with a spike stitch and slip stitch back into our beginning single crochet to fasten off. So that's round four. Round five, join in any stitch with another color, chain one, single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet in each stitch around to give you a total of 36 single crochets. And you will join again to your first single crochet to complete the round. And you can see it's already starting to curve. Now if I take my bobble and just put it on it, this is where you'll start fitting it. Now I'll need at least one more round. You always make it slightly smaller than the bobble because it does stretch. One more round. This time I'll go back maybe and use my green. Again as before, just join in any stitch and make a single crochet in each stitch around. And that's round six. If your bobble is larger than mine, say if you have one this size, you may want to continue to do one, maybe two more rounds of single crochet. Again, as I said, just make it slightly smaller than half your bobble. Just fit it on as you go. But I'm going to cover the smaller one so I can see that I have more than enough. So what I need to do now is make exactly the same for the other side. Sometimes I will do an extra row with a contrast color like I did here in this one on one side only and then attach them together. So come back in a minute and I will show you how to put the two pieces together and cover your bauble and complete it. I now have my two halves made. This is the one I made earlier. And here is a second one I made and on this one I added an extra row just to give a bit of contrast color and um, because it'll make it just slightly large enough to fit and um, I'm not worried about my ends I weave them in in places and others I had worked over them so you can just leave them like that and they will be hidden inside the bauble which is very handy so now to fit it on just fit on one side now there's loads of ways of doing this and you could also sew your two pieces together and fill it with stuffing or some kind of fibre. But this is the way I do it. Um, I fit it on either side of the top of my bobble. Just like that. 
and kind of bring them together so that they just fit and I get a sewing needle, my darning needle or whatever large needle you have and I thread it with the cotton of one of the colours I've just used and I start sewing it around. Usually I start, as you can see it's just held like that. I have a knot on it or you can leave a long thread, you can weave in afterwards, bring it through and then I will start sewing from one stitch on one side, pull tight, then grab another stitch on the other side and on the corresponding side, just thread it through, pull it tight and I work my way around, the whole way around the bauble. Um, if you don't like sewing, you could try and crochet it together. There's lots of different ways of doing this. I like sewing, so I don't mind doing this. And I think it gives a nice, neat finish. So you just work the whole way around. Treading on one side, then on the other side. And you'll just have a nice, neat, tight seam, you can see there. So if you come back to me now in a minute, I'll have worked the whole way around. I'm just at the other side now, so I will just do my last few stitches. And just finish it tightly there around the little top of the bobble. Do a few extra stitches just to make sure that it holds firm and then just weave in your last thread. You will find that you'll get very fast at making these after a while. You can sit down some evening and just crochet the two halves in different colours and then sit down another evening perhaps and sew them all together and before you know it you will have a full selection for your Christmas tree or to give us presents. They're not difficult and um, a little bit fiddly to make but no weaving in of threads as such. You can tuck them all inside just make sure that you know that you snip them so that there's enough of an end that they won't unravel on you and um, there's your baubles which you'll have for many years to come. I hope you enjoyed that and Thank you for watching and again if you want to find the written pattern you can find it on my blog Annie Design Crochet. Thank you, bye bye.